Hi, I'm Stephen Poff with the uh, 365 Days Project video podcast, and I was going to give you a little tutorial on how to overpower the sun with your flash. Now, what I've done is on uh, my camera here, I've set it to the highest sync speed that I can, and I'm using these. Uh, these are actually some really cheap uh, uh, flash triggers from Gadget Infinity. I think they cost me around 30 bucks, um, but I've got it's got a transmitter here. And I've got a receiver for my flash. Now, uh, what I'm, these sync at about 125, 125th of a second. So I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to set my sync speed at 125th of a second. Now it actually says that I need an F14 to get it prop, get the, the scene properly exposed. But we're going to underexpose the sky and the surrounding uh, shot. So what we're actually setting this to is F18. So now I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to set this on self timer. I'm going to step out over here. Okay, so now what you're going to notice about the shot, again, it's, oh, it's underexposed. I've got the sun to my back, so I'll, I might have a little rim light going on, but the front of me is underexposed. I'm completely in shadow. So now what I'm going to do is, um, and I've already kind of pre-measured this, I'm going to turn my flash on. I've set it on full. Now, I've got a, my flash is not as high powered as you can get them, so I'm having to set mine at full, but basically just kind of look at the back, back of your LCD and experiment. You'll kind of find where you need to put that at. Um, but what we're going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, I'm going to set it on self timer. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. I'm going to take a look on the back of my camera, make sure this is properly exposed and it is so um you'll notice in this shot that the front of me now is properly exposed or at least my my face and upper body are properly exposed and i have a little bit of a hair light going on in the background so um but that's basically how you do it so i'll step through the steps again you set your iso speed at the lowest uh that it'll go mine goes to 100. set your shutter speed up at the highest sync speed uh, which mine was 125 yours might be different uh, but you set up the shutter speed at 100 uh, at your highest speed sync speed and then you set your aperture at a stop below what your meter says um, so there you go i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and for the 365 days project video podcast i'm stephen poff i'll see you next time